To fix ideas, let's consider the example of a simulation, a discrete event simulation. And to make it simple, let's assume there's a kind of a bank. And in this bank, there's a bank teller. And customers arrive to the bank from the outside, and they are served by the teller. And after they get their job finished, they'll depart. So we represent servers as a circle like this. So that's a server, and that would be the bank teller. And we represent the waiting area where the customers are waiting, which is the queue in this way. And here are all the customers waiting in queue, and each of these little slots represents a customer. Now, if you think about it, we basically have a few events happening. Well, obviously, there is the arrival of a customer to the system. So arrival of a customer, I'll just abbreviate that to C for customer. And then the second thing is the uh, end, is the service that is done by the teller. So there is the service, and the service, of course, is the initiation. And then the service completion. And at the time of completion, we're going to essentially remove the next customer from queue and serve them. Next customer from queue. Which, and this corresponds essentially to the initiation of the service for the next customer. So uh, what we have to do in this simulation then is to essentially create a stream of arriving customers. So we have to create the arrival stream or arrival process. And I'll just call that create arrivals. And then we need to essentially uh, mimic the queue. And so mimic the queue, which means, or simulate the queue, which means we need to keep a data structure for that. Uh, for the queue, and then we need to have the event of the service uh, completion, and the service completion happens. When the service completion happens, we basically are going to have the server serve the next uh, customer coming in, and so these are roughly the uh, events that are going to be happening, and we can see how we can easily use these events to mimic the uh, to simulate the uh, queue that has any arbitrary service process. It doesn't have to be uh, Poisson arrivals and exponential into service times. It could be arbitrary arrivals of customers and arbitrary service. Display, service durations. In other words, we can simulate a GG1 Q easily, and we can make this, in fact, a GGN or Q where we just have multiple servers, and that's the power of simulation to make it as complicated as we want and still be able to get things such as the mean time in queue, the number of customers in queue, etc.